Okay, so stories of homeless people I've met throughout the years. Uh, I really love meeting homeless people, and that maybe sounds weird. I think when I lived on the road, when I was living out of my car, and I would go to new cities, I just would show up in the city, and I, you know, I'd have like a place to crash or something, like a couch surf or a hotel room or whatever I, you know, had money for it, whatever. But when I'd get there and I didn't know, you know, what's the safe part of town? Where do the hippies hang out? You know, where the hell does a guy get a bag of weed around here? <laughs> uh, you go to the fucking homeless guys, man. Those dudes knew everything, man. And I looked like them, you know, like I had scraggly ass, nasty beard and dreadlocks and fucking whatever. Uh... It's so that, you know, it wasn't like, you know, like now if I go, you know, not now because I need a shower, but like, you know, if I, you know, if I was at camp on campus at like school and I went and like talked to like a homeless guy, like they, they give me funny looks, man, because I, they, they see me as separate from them. But like, you know, that was not always the case, I guess, it was my interpretation of how it all went down. But anyway, so here's some stories. So like uh, first homeless dude. Uh, I ever knew was when I was working at Harmony Cafe in Appleton. There's this guy, oh gosh, I think it, Brian. <laughs> His name was Brian. And he, I don't know, man, I don't know if he was like on drugs or what. He couldn't like talk proper, you know, like it was always like really low and raspy and like mumbly and grumbly and just like. He, I don't know he wasn't that nice of a guy you know but I was felt for him you know because he just he had a hard life man just living on the streets and you know getting kicked out I worked at a couple coffee shops in Appleton and he was like not allowed there man and I'd always kind of turn the other way when he was around people knew that I talked to him I'd talk to him and see how his day is going and stuff and they asked me to kick him out sometimes and I'd I did once, and I still feel bad about that. There was this other guy, I was on a bus going from Phoenix Mesa to Tucson, Arizona, which is like a six or eight hour bus ride on a fucking Greyhound bus. I could do a whole one on Greyhound buses. This guy, Walker, uh, is his name Walker? No, Walker is a different guy. I don't remember this guy's name. Ron, maybe? Paul? I don't know. He wouldn't shut the fuck up <laughs> for the whole bus ride. He sat next to me. This guy was definitely a fucking crackhead, man. Uh, he more or less told me it was one of those where he's like, I don't do that anymore, but I haven't slept in four days. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're doing drugs, man. You, shut up. I brought a book I was all excited to read. I got like a Kerouac book of some sort. Uh, I don't think I ever read it because <laughs> I was going to read it on the bus and I just never did. There's, uh, uh, you know, there's this other, uh, this other, uh, guy. This one's kind of sad. This was Walker. I was in Denver visiting my friend Jackson, uh, from Wisconsin. We we're both from Wisconsin. I was all pumped to see Jackson and fucking we're out on the town, man me Jackson and his girlfriend and uh we're walking and we hear in this park man this dude is crying help like he's literally crying like help me somebody help me uh and I was like bro like we got we like well let's let's go you know and Jackson didn't want to go and I understand that I mean I'm not in the city material or whatever but like uh we went and this guy thought he was having a heart attack man he was really scared he was very scared this other woman showed up who was a nurse with her mom. She managed it. She called 911 and the ambulance came and stuff. And I just remember how scared he was. And uh, I wasn't like brave enough to like hold his hand over. I was afraid because Jackson was afraid. You know, I was following his lead, but I just wish I would have. I wish I would have loved him when he needed it, you know, like, I like to think that I'm the kind of guy that can, like, 
do people love when they're actually scared? No, I, I wasn't in that instance. And I feel bad about that. 